welcome to another episode of The Clever Clarinetist. I'm your host, Dr. Larkin Sanders. Today, I'm testing out the Protégé Clarinets by Bakun. I've been wanting to check out these clarinets for a while. They're kind of Bakun's like step up, entry professional level instrument, um, but they're really beautiful. They all have silver plated keys, or at least the ones I have in my shop have silver plated keys. Some of them come with this extra um, 18th key, which coincidentally the two I have in my hand do not, but I have another one in here that does have the 18th key, and I have several more as well. You can also see just by looking at these two samples that I've got a Coca Bolo version and a Grenadilla version. I have, I'm going to be trying two Grenadilla versions against this one Coca Bolo version just for funsies. And as always, I will be starting with my control, which is my personal instrument. My personal B-flat clarinet is still a Selmer Paris Présence clarinet. We're going to do it in B-flat. I've got a barrel by Brian Corbin, and I'm playing a mouthpiece that's fairly new by Bain. It's an epic with a medium opening. I'll also be playing on the Dario Reserve Classic Reeds, and I have a Silverstein Hexa Ligature in Rose Gold. So let's hear some introductory sounds on my own personal instrument. I'm gonna do an F major scale slurred, an F major scale tongued, and then I'm going to play an excerpt from the opening of Brahms's Clarinet Sonata, Opus 120, number two in E flat major. protege I have to try is a standard Bakun protege in Grenadilla wood with silver plated keys without the 18th key. So not having the 18th key will shave a little bit of money off of the price and some people prefer to have it and some people don't. I actually typically prefer not to have the 18th key. I definitely have a spare E flat A flat lever on my bass clarinet and my E flat clarinet but that's just because that's kind of how they come. I do use it on the bass clarinet, but that's because of all the wacky thumb and pinky key combinations that you encounter when you play a low C bass clarinet. That does not necessarily apply to a B flat clarinet. So it is not a must have mechanism. All right, let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Protégé clarinet with the 18th key. 
Okay, so I'm back with my setup on another protege clarinet in Grenadilla wood with silver, silver plated keys, and this one has the 18th key right here. I'm probably not gonna use the 18th key because I don't really use it. Um, but let's move on and hear how it sounds. <laughs> just as nice of a tone as I was with the previous instrument. That goes really well for the entire line of protege clarinets in that it shows that Bakun's manufacturing has been quite consistent, at least when with the production of the protege clarinet. Um, this 18th key is a little bit hard to reach. I have small hands and if I try to maintain a good hand position where my hands are just gently coming over the keys in a nice round shape, I do pride myself on having quite a good hand position. I've been working on it for a long time. Um, so this, this 18th key, as you can see, I have to straighten my pinky out completely to even reach it if I maintain a good hand position. If I tilt my hand down a little bit, yeah, I can get it, but then that, that prevents me from doing all the other stuff that we should fundamentally be able to do as clarinet players. So if I were on the hunt for a clarinet that I like that also had the 18th key, I don't know that this would be a front runner. I think the Selmers have an 18th key that's much easier to reach. If I look at this Muse, and I know that Muse and Protégé shouldn't even be compared, but they're right here, so it's easy. You can see how much farther down or farther away this 18th key is than the Muse's 18th key. Um, that would concern me as someone who, I, I feel like as the, the customer base for the protege clarinet, just because it's not usually gonna be like super professional clarinetists going after this, it's gonna be younger people with who are learning how to use good hand position while playing the clarinet. But on the other hand, the 18th key is typically used in an emergency scenario, so it would probably do just fine for anyone who is looking to purchase this instrument. Let's try the Coca Bolo version. Okay, and this is the last clarinet I'm going to try for you today. This is the protege in Coca Bolo Wood. <laughs> specific instrument 
Um, if you want to reach out to me about trying it, the serial number is PR4457. It's a really beautiful instrument. I really love it. Um, I like the sound quality I got from it, and I felt like I could articulate really quickly and cleanly with it. I also like the weight, or lack thereof, and it's also just a gorgeous instrument. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. It would be unique. You would definitely stand out from a crowd uh, rocking this instrument, for sure. These instruments also come with these really fabulous BAM cases. You can see it's uh, labeled with the Vicoon logo, um, but these are really awesome cases. They have like memory foam interior, so your instrument will fit beautifully in here. Um, and all these instruments are stashed with a big fat uh, humidity pack to prevent cracking and to maintain stability of the wood. Um, it comes with a swab, and you have all this storage space on the top of the case. Wow, look at that. You have some like pencil spots and a little pouch in here, maybe for like a metronome or something, or your reed case. And um, it comes with backpack straps. You can see they're tucked away back here, so you can wear this case as a backpack. Um, it doesn't look like it comes with shoulder straps, so if you wanted to have a shoulder strap instead of backpack straps, you'd have to do a little bit of rigging yourself. But I prefer to carry my clarinets on my back. It keeps these free arms free and ready to do stuff. So I really like this case. I think it's really fabulous, especially if you are not used to carrying like a double case or if you don't already have a case that you love. If you buy one of these Protege clarinets, it will come with a fabulous case. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Bakun Protege clarinets. Um, I'm happy to talk to you if you're interested in purchasing the instruments. You can find a link in my description about how you can buy them from me or how to set up a trial from me to get your very own Bakun Protege or one of these other fabulous clarinets you see behind me. They're all for sale. Also be sure to visit my website to check out the many services I offer including equipment trials, private lessons, special events, and all kinds of cool stuff. Plus you can get this cool dress that I'm wearing. I designed it myself and yes, you can buy it at cleverclarinetist.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.